The Stanford Prison Experiment was an attempt to investigate the psychological effects of human responses to captivity, and was concerned with the real conditions of prison life. The experiment was conducted from August 14 to 20, 1971, under the supervision of a team of researchers led by Philip Zimbardo of Stanford University. Volunteers played the role of guards and prisoners in a building that completely simulates a prison. However, the experiment quickly exceeded the limits of control and was stopped early. This famous experiment has often been surrounded by ethical doubts and has been likened to the Milgram test conducted in 1963 at Yale University under the supervision of Dr. Stanley Milgram, who was one of Zimbardo's high school classmates. The objectives of the experiment and the method of conducting it the U.S. Navy funded the study to understand the struggles in its prison system. The experiment was advertised in the press to get participants for $15 each day $90 in 2017 prices to take part in a two-week, simulated prison. Of the 70 people who responded to the ad, Zimbardo selected 24 who were the most fit in terms of psychological stability and physical health. Most of them were white, male, and middle class, and they were all undergraduate students. The group was randomly divided into two equal groups, prisoners and guards. Interestingly, the prisoners said later that they thought the guards chose them based on their larger bodies. But the reality is that they were sorted by lottery using a coin, and there were no objective differences in terms of structure between the two groups. The prison was set up in the basement of Stanford University, and Zimbardo placed a set of restrictions on the participants he hoped would prevent delirium, personality disorders, and the denial of individual identity. The guards were given police batons, uniforms they had chosen themselves from a military uniform store, and they were given reflective glasses to avoid eye contact with the prisoners. Zimbardo said this idea came to him from a movie. Unlike the prisoners, the guards enjoyed regular hours in the form of patrols, and they returned to their homes after completing them, but a number of them began to volunteer sometimes for additional hours, even though they were without pay. The prisoners had to wear a loose robe without underwear and rubber sandals, which Zimbardo suggested would force them to adapt to unfamiliar and disturbing bodily habits and postures. Each prisoner was symbolized by a number instead of his name, and the numbers were sewn on their clothes, and they had to wear tight nylon caps to make their heads appear as if they had been completely shaved. She also put a small chain counting the ankle as a constant alarm that they were imprisoned and persecuted. Zimbardo gave the following sentences to the guards during his summary, You can generate a sense of lethargy among the prisoners, and a certain degree of fear, you can suggest some kind of arbitrariness that makes them feel that you and that the system and that we all control their lives, they will not have privacy or retreats. We will rob them of their personality and individuality in various ways.